Howdy, Beefalo Bart here, and welcome. Kind of an extra video for the Monday night video. But something I've kind of been wanting to work on, and I'll work on a little bit here and there, on and off stream, but uh, I want to have a game where I can actually drive a Jeep around and do some off-roading and goofing off and stuff like that. I've got a game that I can do that in, but I didn't make it. So, starting off with my Simple Multiplayer's Team template, uh, it won't be necessary to, to use it for single player, but for multiplayer, it'll be nice, and it'll give me a chance to try to figure out what in the heck is wrong with uh, the UE4 vehicle template with multiplayer replication. It's got some some issues. It works, but it's got issues. Um, for this, I'm going to be using the uh, City Studios Polygon Explorers pack, and the main reason for that is, well, it's got a Jeep in it. Go to vehicle and rubber. And of course, because UE4 hates me, um, editor preferences, main window, loading and saving, disable, go away. So, yes, City Studios Explorers Pack um, has kind of a JKYJ hybrid Jeep going on here. So, it works for me. And you've got doors that actually you can cycle open and close if you want to. Um, it would be nice to be able to remove them completely um, since most jeeping off-road is done without doors. Just because it's, you know, cool like that. That's a third brake light, so might see about making that actually light up uh, along with the brake lights and you know set up a um, a lighting system turn on on and off headlights when you turn the headlights on you get running lights on the front and the back the orange will glow on front and back and the headlights will cut on so yeah some stuff to work with so we actually have a Jeep um, And one thing that I do notice about, and I've kind of brought this up to Cinti, um, the wheels. Kind of asked them to go back through and redo their wheels. Because you've got 4x4 four four car wheel, um, you got all this extra information here in the wheel area. And if you're making your own vehicle template, that's fine. But if you're using, well, first off, a Plata asset. Uh, if you're converting the car template from UE4, then you're going to run into issues with the naming convention of the tires. And I'll show you what I mean. And the downfall to this is if you're doing the characters, that's one thing. It's cool. Um, you can retarget the characters so that... Um, their skeletons can be used, one skeleton can be used for all the Cindy Studios Polygon characters. You can't do that with the vehicles because their information for the wheels have 4x4 four four underscore car underscore wheel underscore. They have all this information in here and there's a zero one on the end. So that tells me there was an error when they were making it and they put a new version in and now it's got the zero one on top of that. So there are some issues with the naming convention of this. If they had just done uh, SK underscore wheel underscore FR and eliminate the VEH underscore 4x4 underscore car underscore get rid of that whole portion of it and that will make it to where it's somewhat generic between and do this for all your vehicles and all your asset packs so that it makes it a generic system for using a unified skeleton as much as possible for retargeting so that it becomes easier to work with. And of course the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change my character out and I look at my skeleton here, retargeting manager, it's already set humanoid rig, that's good to go. I want the male as my primary because I'm a male. Apply to asset and save. And since I'm using the default UE4 mannequin skeleton, I am going to go with the mesh here and do my usual. Grab this, 
We're rotated up by 50. Back by 30. Down 10. And hand up 10. So I do this on all of it. It just seems to work pretty good for general retargeting of the skeleton. Of course, got to be select humanoid rig, modify pose, use current pose, and save. Now, I'm not going to add in a bunch of other characters or any other stuff right here. So we're going to hit save all, save selected. Now, under my character folder, I'm going to go ahead and add a new folder called animations. And we're going to go in here. I am going to F2, Control C, and click off. So I've copied the name of third person. Because I don't want third person in the name of all of my freaking animations. So now whenever I right click on it, retarget, duplicate, and select my skeleton here. Normally I would create my own new skeleton and go about it that way, but I'm not going to add other packs in here, so I'm not really worried about it. So in the replace, I'm just going to control C inside there and not put anything in there. So I'm replacing that with nothing essentially. I'm going to change the folder and put that in my character folder animations okay dokle and retarget. What? You did not do what I told you to do. Why must UE4 vex me? Oh. Okay. Well, we'll do the same thing again. I know why I did that. Replace that with unarmed animation blueprint. Change. No, dum dum animations. There we go. So now we got all our animation set, and we can go to our blueprint for our player underscore base. Go ahead and load that up. So you can see currently right now we are UE4 mannequin. So I'm going to go in here, go to my viewport. You can see I got the camera attached to the head for first person view. Go to mesh and explore mail. Unarmed animation blueprint. Compost and save and then click right here. Uncheck real time my FPS camera and fix it now. Just rotate it 90 and 90 and it ends up right there. I don't know why. Uncheck my snapping on that. And the real reason why I did this to uncheck real time is because Unreal Engine 4 can be really stupid at times and if I don't do that, I'm trying to move it in this direction right here. It's going in all three axes at one time doing unknown stupidity. So I ended up having to do it like this. So it does what I want it to do. So there we go. Compile, save, and now you can turn real time back on. And our character is there. So we'll go in here and play. And now we are this guy. We need a hat. So I'll go back in here, go back to my viewport, and go back to my characters, attachments, and we need a cowboy hat, or a pith hat, or whatever. I'm just going to use the cowboy hat. I'm going to select mesh, add component. It's a static mesh, but it should work fine. I'm going to socket it to the head. And this is another thing that's just weird about freaking Unreal Engine 4 when converting stuff over. 
So now, Lee has our character. Can run around, got our hat on, we're good to go. You want to add the the pouch, the rope, the whip, and all the other stuff on there, and it's fine. I'm not going to because I'm going to be in a car, or in this case, a jeep. So that's good. We have our player driving around or walking around on foot, and now we need our jeep. We do have a pistol, but not worried about guns. Worried about jeeps. Now. What I'm going to try to do here to make things as simple as possible is go into my Blueprints folder. I'm not going to do anything just yet. Um, so actually go back to Content, go to Add New, Features or Content Pack, Vehicle. Although it would be nice to, to use this one. But I haven't really done a whole lot with this one to convert all the other stuff over. And I'll probably import this one, this setup in there also so that I can get some stuff out of there, like the uh, vehicle sounds and whatnot. So we're going to add vehicle and advanced vehicle. So we have both in there. So vehicle, vehicle, Let's start opening it up and seeing what we got to work with. We got our meshes folder, which is got materials in the meshes folder. That makes sense. Um, sedan. We've got our animation blueprint right here, which is what we're going to use for retargeting. We've got our sedan skeleton right here, and that's good. If we look at our sedan skeleton, and you see the naming convention for our wheels are wheel underscore front underscore left. That's the normal way that it should be. And this is what I wish they would use for the Cindy Studios assets. So you have a common naming convention and it will make this process a lot easier. All right, so we'll go to retargeting manager and select rig. Well, it's not a humanoid rig, so let's actually close it. I'll show you how to do this another way. Um, we're going to right click on it and create rig and that's all fine and okay so now we've got our sedan skeletal rig and we can use that for part of our retargeting now there are like I said there are some things we're going to be stealing from the um, the advanced vehicle stuff but for right now, let's look at we got game mode, map, sedan. There we go. You got your wheel information right there, which we're going to use, and our sedan blueprint. It has, and this is what we're going to modify, but in a little bit different way. You got your default camera and VR device. I'm not using VR, so. I'm going to go ahead and is head mount display, da, 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 set default camera. I'm going to leave it in here for now, but I will end up deleting all of that. I don't need any of it. Toggle camera, we'll leave that alone. Um, steering input. So we've got our, our input access move right, move forward, and handbrake. That's going to be spacebar. You got your regular WSD um, controls. This is our update information, and this is probably one area that I'm going to have to come back and address because it might affect the um, multiplayer portion. So we're not going to make any changes to this one. We're actually going to make a copy of it. And as you can see, this is the standard car for that. So let's go ahead and close that out. And I want to go ahead and go to my blueprints. Left click, drag, drop in my character blueprints, copy here. And I'm going to F2 Jeep BP. So that I have a new version of that. Um, let's see. We go to our. Let's 
sedan animation blueprint we got our sedan skeleton got our skeletal rig we we're gonna need to go into here and select rig sedan skeleton rig and let's take a look at it here our sedan skeletal mesh if you need to reference it you can actually go back into um, uh, there sedan skeleton so you have both of them open you can switch back and forth um, and see what's what we'll open the skeletal tree sedan skeletal mesh will actually be the location for the actual vehicle um, so we'll select that one vehicle base um, let's actually put that there and let's clear this wheel front left so now we need to open this up and find wheel front left front right right there it's be a lot easier with the uh, the naming convention corrected on the uh, the Cinti assets rear right is going to be here and rear left is going to be this one and we should be able to close these out now and we can take this right click retarget animation blueprint let's see if we got this right and no we didn't because the Cinti vehicle did not carry over uh, let's see here vehicle skeleton got a sedan skeleton rig we need to go back to our sedan and tell it to use the sedan skeleton rig that's what I forgot now we should be able to retarget there we go and I'm going to change the location so I can put it in my character folder animations okay and retarget so it's just the animation blueprint so we'll do save all save selected so if we go in here and let's go to the test track but first off you've got a vehicle and then you got all this right here you look at your world settings it's already set up for that game mode and mouse cursor huh how about that awesome so no sound and you're driving the vehicle around that's cool but I'm gonna go ahead and rip you out of there so we don't need you now if we hit play it's still gonna do the same thing and let us play because we have player starts in it the um, you see the tires when you're turning you can see and go left and right and they're rotating so that's why we did the retargeting on the animation blueprint um, so that we could see what's going on so now if we go to our blueprints folder our Jeep go to our viewport and now for our mesh which is the root which I really really hate whatever anybody pushes that the skeletal mesh as the root it causes problems down the line shouldn't be a problem here I've done this one before so shouldn't be a problem so now I'm going over to my skeletal mesh change it out compile and save and it will work now but this camera needs to move now it's not going to drive just yet so we go here change this over to Jeep and try to hit play you see it's bobbling around and it doesn't work right and that's because of the naming convention of the wheels so we need to go to our vehicle movement and this is gonna suck but we gotta do it and search you can start typing in wheel I just typed in WH you can see it's looking for the bone name wheel front left wheel front right and so forth we're using the sedan wheels and that's fine we'll change that later but 
this is what we need to fix for right now. Wheel front left. So we're going to need to look at our skeleton for the Sinti Jeep. Vehicle, skeleton, skeleton tree. And the first one we actually need is the front left. So we'll come over here, look for FL. that would be this one right here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy selected bone name. Go back here click in here and control V and that's that so now we need front right go back over here front right copy selected bone names and control V rear left here copy control V and rear right for the final one which is y'all. Yeah. See, it's relatively easy to do this. It's just a pain in the ass because of the naming convention. So let's compost and save, and we hit play now. All right, it's working, but we need to do one other thing here. And Jeep mesh. Oh, we need to get rid of this stuff. The animation class needs to be, and I did not rename it, you dumbass. All right, um, go back up to my animations, hit F2, and this will be Jeep underscore ABP. Do a quick save all, go back in here. Jeep Animation Blueprint, Compile and Save. reason why I had to do that is because we couldn't see our wheels turn. Now we can see our wheels when we turn left and right, and they're rotating. So we've got our animation set up, and it works. Of course, the tires are horrible, thanks to Unreal Engine 4. The way that they rotate, it's absolutely just terrible. It's nothing to do with Cindy Studios on that one. And we hit Tab, we can go to our in-car view. We still have mouse control, which is kind of weird. And it's inverted. I'm not sure why. Mouse doesn't do anything when you're in this view. So that's another thing that I want to kind of fix is the inverted mouse and whatnot. But that's quickly retarding. Now we don't have our, our player inside the vehicle. So want to add something in here just to make it look like our character's in there, then um, we can actually add that in there. But the problem is going to be is we're going to have to remove our camera because if our player is in here, it's going to get in the way and the camera is going to see that. So we'll compile and save. We'll come over here. Look for... And unfortunately, though, we don't have an animation for the player sitting down. So that's something I'm going to have to do later and bring in that for now, the one thing I do want is event graph. Um, get rid of this, 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 and this. And you know what I'm going to do. Going to make a custom event. No cursor. And set input to game mode only. Oh, now we need to get our player controller and set your mouse cursor to a null because we no need that. Then up here we can drag this out and I'm actually going to put that in here between the um, no cursor. Add that custom event in so that we kill that. 
compost and save. So now whenever I hit play, I just go right in and I don't have to worry about a mouse cursor being in my way. So the thing here is I'm stuck. I have no way of getting my way out. At some point, I'm going to create a winch system where I can hit, say, the H key or, or R key or whatever, and it gives me a mouse cursor. I click on a location within a certain distance, and it shows a little bit of, you know, it, you know the crosshair for your mouse. Whenever you click on an area, then it will attach that as a winch, and it will pull you in that direction. So that's something to work on for later. Um, short term, um, the current starting position we can use as our respawn. So that's it. Um, there, 290, blah, 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 blah. We'll worry about that in just a second. We're going to create a new variable. Respawn location, and I'm going to change that variable to a. We'll do it as a vector for now. We could always do it as a transform so we can add direction to that. But we can do that a different way as well. But yeah, again, not worried about it. We're just doing a simple respawn system. Um, what is our elevation? 260. All right, so here I'm going to create another custom event and set, I'm sorry, custom set start re respawn. So when we first start playing, it's going to set our initial respawn location. And we're going to get a reference to our mesh. Um, actually, let's try something different here. Um, get actor location. And from there, we can take this respawn location and we can set that. So no matter where we started as our respawn and uh, where we started when we initially got into the game, it's going to set that as our respawn location. So we'll come back up to our event begin play. And we'll call this our begin play. And what do we call that? Set start respawn. So that runs on begin play. And the next thing I want to do here is do keyboard E. And we'll do R for respawn. And what we'll do here is, when we press it, set actor location. To the respawn location. Shouldn't need to, but I'm going to put in here, get reference to self. Compile and save, and let's go in here and do a quick test. Okay, we drive around, we hit R, and it didn't work. Why are you unhappy? Please use the teleport. F okay, well, let's try that. All right, so it doesn't set our, our rotation. So if we look, 
we can get our rotation negative 90. Our respawn location, let's actually do this. Set actor location and rotation. So we can do this, 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 and put this in here at negative 90. So it always faces back that direction. So if we're over here, we hit that, it faces back in the correct direction. We can see we're still moving. So if, if I'm moving, I hit R, we're going to kick off moving. So that's something that I can address also when I hit R. Um, I want to stop movement. Stop movement immediately. So we want to stop ourselves from moving. Compost and save. Let's see if that does anything. Going forward and boop. No. Did not. You did nothing for me. I will come back and address that later. That is less important. But that is going to get us going, get us started. That should be enough for this video for setting up Cindy Studios um, cars. The same technique will work for any four-wheeled vehicle from the Cindy Studios assets. Um, I've used it on all of them, uh, from the city to the town pack to the whatever. You know, I've used it on all the different asset packs from Cindy Studios, and it works. Um, don't ask me on six-wheel vehicles. Um, I would assume that if you're doing a six-wheel vehicle, like a large truck or what have you, uh, you could use the same method but only pick two of the rear wheels you want to actually get power. Alright, so in future videos what I'm going to be doing is showing what I'm do doing to fix the vehicle movement stuff to make it less tacky. Um, but what I can show really quickly is the sound. It's kind of boring with no sound. Um, if we look in the vehicle advanced The vehicle blueprint for that has engine sound. So we want to add that to ours. Don't want to leave it in the advanced vehicle blueprint folders, but I'm going to anyway, just because. Um, so we've got the engine sound, which is an audio component, and it's the engine loop Q. And we need to find in here audio. That we're going to use this section right here and it's run off of event tick lovely um, and a sequence node on the event tick do we have anything in here on event tick yes we do right here so we'll need to do this and a sequence node in And I'm going to grab, first off, um, audio. We're going to call this engine sounds. Is that what it was called here? It's engine sound. Compost and save. You are the master of your own saves. So I'm going to grab this. Control C. Control V. Connect the sequence node to here.
compost and save engine sound engine loop Q compost and save no errors that's good Let's see if it actually works we have an idle sound Yay. Now there's one thing you'll you notice that there isn't the um the floating uh text for the engine. In car speed, in car gear. Cause they're underneath the dashboard. Need to bring them up. This is the gear. It's almost the right angle. Unchecked snapping on that, so we can try to match it up. And just post that right over here. And I'll put the speed right there. All right. That'll be some fine tweaking to get it just right, but... Not so much worried about it right now. Just want to make it visible. Now if we hit tab, go to our in-car view. And we'll have to move them around. I don't like that KMH. This is America. We use freedom units. Damn it. Um... Speed. Set up in car HUD. Gear display string. Um, uh, let's see. In car view, I'll figure that out. Uh, but we got to convert that over to, to freedom units. We can't. We can't have this. Uh, you know, sickening freaking kilometers per hour. Oh God, who uses that? Oh yeah, this is good enough for now. I will fiddle fart around with that more. Don't have it on the exterior view, which is fine. But when I go to in-car view, I can actually see it. Reverse. First. Yeah, the... the the turning is absolutely atrocious. The vehicle controls by default are just absolutely terrible. You see how the wheels have that, that flippy effect? And that's not anything to do with the Cindy assets. That's actually Unreal Engine 4. The way that it's actually rotating those tires. And the, the rebound rate of the shocks and that kind of stuff. It just absolutely looks terrible. I mean, if you had perfectly smooth round tires, or appeared to be, that's one thing, but um, it just looks terrible this way. Oh well. This is going to be good enough for me to get started with. I want to thank everybody for watching. It's about bowl peanut time. Bowl peanuts and tang. No, I don't live in the south. <laughs>
<laughs> All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go ahead and, and kick out for the night. This was just kind of a bonus video. Thanks, and see you later.